I'm Red Style here. I'm going to just uh, going to make some cords today. This is my little book I've been working on, uh, and it's ready. I've got one more page to go, and then it'll be ready for cords to go. And and you might some people may recall that my cords I use them to attach my little books together so that the cord runs right through. I have two sorts of cords. I've got like this is one cord where I've used sari ribbon, and I've twisted each one to make. Um, and twist, stitched on it, machine wrap stitched, and then I've plaited them. I always like plaiting things, so that's it, and it'll be all ready. I think that's what I'll use to go down the side. But the actual cord, I'll show you again how I do it. I make a lot of cords. they um, very, very easy. When you're working on a topic, you want to use what you've got that matches your theme, and I'm using a machine cord. Um, and just to show you, these here are all made with machine thread. There's no inserts or anything like that that I've stitched over. And I make very involved cords, so they make them and wrap them around others and plait them and collect them up together. So I suppose it's lots of stitching, but it's very effective. And then I'll wind them up and make them into a coil, stitch them down, thread them through things, knot them up and so on. And just coming back to what I've been doing before, this is a cord that I've made. This is the first cord that's going to be for the book um, to thread through it. And how easy it is. And people ask me all the time, how can it be so easy? And I've got a thread here, same thread top and bottom in my machine. And I've just pulled out, I won't make a great big long one, but I've pulled out a reasonable quantity here. And I'll just bring it down. I've got it on feed dogs down. I've got it on a zigzag stitch and I've got it on the widest zigzag stitch that you can have. And I've got two threads. I've pulled the back one out here and here's the front one. And I'll just wide zigzag quite fast and holding it very taut. I'll show you what happens if you don't hold it taut. And I'm just zigzagging over it like so. That'll do. I'll make it a bit shorter. Then turn it round. You don't have to turn it round. Some people go backwards, but I quite like to see where I'm going. And then we do exactly the same thing. And watch it as it comes out the back. And you can see how it's starting to fill up over the cord. Now there's nothing there but machine thread. And I know it's going to fit my thing because it's exactly what I've got. And then I'll turn it round. Not going all the way to the end, but which I would do. And I might go up four or five times. Just going back again. And going quite slowly. And when I come back the next time, I'll show you what happens if you don't have it short. So you want your fingers both sides, make sure it goes back under. And then, if you're dreaming, and you let it go, it'll do that. Can you see what's happened? It goes down the hole. And it, all you have to do is perhaps sometimes take the everything off and try it again. But it's not a drama. Um, it just simply has to be, in this case, re-threaded. And put back in. But it, that's what happens if you let it, if you don't hold it tight or taut. So we've got that one going there. We'll probably have to find this one again too. Here it comes. Put it back in. Make sure it comes up again. And off we go. Now it's quite good to see this because when I put this back on, I've got threads everywhere. And it's not the end of the world. You just go over it. And if you have a look, you'll see that this thread, I'm just collecting it in as I go. So I'm wrapping it in within, within the, what I'm doing. And it go all the way up again. And it's most rewarding because I'm ending up with a thread, just thread, that's going to match my theme of what I've done. Uh, and this, so this might end up going down here, 
and this will feed up and come back up through here or I could put it all over um, and then finally when you're coming along here and you're doing this you like it to be a bit thicker in places uh, so just stay on the spot and just do it here. have a look at what I've got if you look at my photo while I'm sitting you'll see it's got quite thick in places as I just go over it and if you don't like a colour, you think, oh, it's too light, just go back over it. Go back up and, up and down over it. So you can make it as thick as you like. And here, um, I put it, my cord onto a bit of water soluble after I'd finished it. And I've made some little leaves to go on it. So you can add it to other things as you go. Now, just finally to finish off, my last page is going to have something like this on. I'm not going to show you that today. But I'm going to coil this all up here. And then I'm going to use uh, my metallic, my super twist thread to stitch it down. So it'll be like this. So I'm stitching it down here. I've done it by hand, but I'm going to do it with the machine. But I'll keep that one. So here's my little cord. Just clean it off there. It's got enough. And I just chop the ends off like so. And here. And you've got something that you can st stitch down. You could plait it, you could do anything you like with it, but you've got your own cord. Now, I hope that's given you some ideas. A lot of people are always asking how I do all these cords. Um, it does take a lot of time, but it's quite relaxing, really, just working up and down, concentrating. You can tell yourself a story while you're doing it. So there, I hope that's a good little idea for today, and we'll see you again another time. Bye.